everyone welcome to the channel so in this video we're going to show you how to create a sampling grid in rgis pro so now let's get started so now let me explain about the sampling grid so sampling grid in gis is a systematic arrangement of uniformly spaced horizontal and vertical lines overlaying a geographic area this grid is used for spatial sampling analysis and representation of data the sampling grid or the fishnet divides the study area into a series of cells creating a regular pattern that simplifies the data organization and facilitates the spatial analysis. So the key aspect is of a grid creation. So sampling grid of the fishnet is typically created by defining the extent of the study area and specifying the desired size of the grid cell. This can be done using AGIS software tools to generate a set of uh, evenly spaced horizontal and vertical lines. So now let me show you how to create the sampling grid. Let me uh, get back to my RGIS Pro. So now here in the table of content section, you can visualize our study area shapefile here. So now I could, uh, I'm interested to create a sampling grid around the study area. So for that, we're going to navigate to this option called view, view section. So here we're going to click this option called geoprocessing. So once you did that, a window pops up saying video processing. So here, so we're going to click this uh, option called toolboxes. And now here, we're going to navigate to this tool called data management tool. So let me click this tool. So here, we're going to navigate to another tool called sampling. So now let me uh, navigate to that. So here, let me click this tool called sampling. So here, you can able to visualize tool called create fishnet. So it creates a fishnet of rectangular cells. The output can be a polyline or a polygon feature. And now let me click this. So this is our create fishnet tool. So here you can able to visualize the first option is uh, the output feature class, the location you could like to save this file. So now let me uh, navigate to a folder location to save this file. So once you have navigated to your folder location to save your file, I've entered the name of sampling grid and click save. So the next section we're going to navigate is our template extent. So uh, we're going to select our template extent to be our export output. So the export output here represents our study area boundary. You can able to visualize it. So export output is our study area boundary. So I could like to create a sampling grid uh, based on my study area boundary. So once you've selected your template extent, next we're going to navigate to our cell size width and cell size height. So here the cell size will be in meters. Suppose you want to create a sampling grid of uh, 3 kilometer by 3 kilometer. So for that, we're going to enter as 3000 as a width and similarly a 3000 as our height. So basically, this represents a 3 kilometer by 3 kilometer width and 3 kilometer height. And the next option we're going to navigate is, is uh, create label points. So uh, once we have created our uh, sampling grids, so to uh, represent this, uh, we can represent the center of that particular grid. We, uh, we can basically use this option to create a point in the center of those grids. So for that, make sure that you uh, select this option called create label points. So I have selected it. So next, the uh, next will be is our geometry type. So we're going to select the geometry types to be polygon. So once you did that, we're going to navigate to this option called environments. And now in the environment section, we have our output coordinate system. So in that we're going to select our, uh, we're going to select our output coordinate system. So we're going to select my study area boundary. That is the export output. You can able to visualize it, export output. So you're going to click this. So current projection is, it is WGS 1984 UTM zone 44 North. And now this processing extent. So the processing extent you're going to select is uh, our study area boundary. There is export output. So export output is our study area boundary. So once you did that, we're going to click this option called run. So now we can able to visualize we have created our sampling grid. So now let me uh, show you that. Let me make some changes to it. So now let me uh, make it hollow. So we're going to navigate to this option called sampling grids. So click this and uh, we're going to select this option no color. So here you can able to visualize we have created our sampling grid for our study region. So you can able to clearly able to view that. 
So now you can clearly able to visualize our sampling grids, creating of a fishnets around our study area boundary. So now let's clip based on our study area boundary. So for that, we're going to navigate to this tool called clip. So click this option called favorites. So enter in the search section as clip and click enter. So now click the first result called clip. So now let me click this tool. So here, now let me input feature or the data set will be our the sampling grid. So click this. Now let me show you that here, let me turn this off, a sampling grid data layer is this particular layer. And next the clip feature will be our study area boundary. So now let me select my study area boundary here, that is our export output. So once you did that, we're gonna, we're gonna save the specific uh, file to, uh, to your selected folder location. So for that, we're gonna click this option. So now we're gonna enter as study area sampling grid. And now I have entered our study area sampling grid. Now click save. So once you did that, we're gonna click this option called run. So here you can able to visualize your study area sampling grid. So now let me turn this off here. So now here you can able to visualize we have a clip using our study area boundary. And let me turn this on our sampling grid labels. So you can also uh, input the sampling uh, grid label, this points into our clip feature and you can clip based on our study area boundary. And now here you can able to visualize. So in this video I have shown you how to create a sampling grid in RGIS Pro. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.